Hey guys and welcome to Whack-A-Mole. In today's video we'll be working on or explaining how to make a cabinet scraper. Very simple and well first I gotta get changed. Okay all set to go so let's get moving. Okay before I can start my projects my wife very kindly swapped projects with me and uh, traded and or gave me a really good deal. So first I gotta move a paver and as a result she's gonna paint this back door for me. It's like a door underneath our crawl space area. Pausing for a public service announcement and so you can look at my beautiful mug shy here. Uh, well, I'm not gonna be using a precise jig and making everything absolutely perfect, but we'll be making it work. So, no fancy jigs needed, and no fancy equipment, this is how your average Joe can make his cabinet scraper and use it. Well, let's get into the video. To start off, you need your metal, your donor metal for making your cabinet scraper. So, two options, either like an old handsaw that is completely dulled like this one, or another option is if you have an old circular saw blade, this is a little thicker, but this would be another good option for uh, donor metal. So you need a good hard metal, not a soft metal, so that you can put it, well I'll show you in a moment, but basically put a burr on it. So we'll be able to scrape like that fur off the wood like I did on my shelving video. If you have not seen that by the way, make sure to check that out. So you're gonna cut it off of some stock metal like this. Because I don't have a time machine, I'm just gonna pretend to cut off this piece right here because it's already been cut off. Just because I can, I'm just going to talk over myself and mention to prep this, just need to file a good 90 degree angle on both corners. Okay, so we're going to take our stock metal that's been cut, put it in the vise. You want to have it as low down as possible because otherwise it'll make more of a screeching sound possibly when you file it because it'll be vibrating because you can see there's a little bit of play because it's a thinner metal. Make sure when you're filing it that you're using a metal file, not a wood file. No, we're not talking about filing your papers here. The wood file is a coarse file while the metal file is much finer. So the process when you're filing, make sure you push. Don't pull because if you pull back on your file, it's going to flatten those little ridges. So hold on here. The moral of this story is, this is the one time it's okay to be pushy! That make your file actually be able to cut. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna push one way, and that's gonna especially create a flat, but also gonna push a little bit more metal on this side to create a little more burr to help be able to scrape the wood. Now another tip to help you be able to file flatter is keep your one hand on it. Um, I meant keep both hands on it, not just one. Keep your one hand on it, and you want to try to keep it as level as you're pushing it so you create a very flat 90 degree surface. And you'll feel on the opposite side that you're pushing against there's like a sharper corner. So you should end up with two clean 90 degree angles, kind of like this, so you can make a good scrape. Uh, just don't scrape yourself, just the wood. So the easiest way, you can use it two-handed like this. Or like this. And I am taking off a little bit of sawdust. And it's getting a very nice clean surface. So a cabinet scraper or also known as a card scraper is great to reduce your sanding or remove the need for sanding as it creates a very fine smooth surface on your wood. Now you can hold the card or cabinet scraper at a different angle to, to adjust how deep or the size of shavings you're taking off. But you can see how much different the wood looks like. So that's, this is more like what the wood looked like because I use this, this is actually my block I put in the drill press for uh, a sacrificial wood. Uh, but yeah, you can see how much I just cleaned it up with that. So on to the second method. So I gotta shrink down to fit into the uh, camera angle here. So the next method is using a power tool, in this case, the belt sander. Could use a drum sander, this one's a little small, but it would work. I would probably not use a, a smaller, narrower belt sander or a, like a tool grinder, because it's gonna be harder to get a good, clean, flat sand or grind on this. 
So I'm going to start on this side. This is the side I did with the hand file. You can see it's all shiny. I'm going to switch to going to this side. So let's get, let's get on that. So the trick with this is you got to hold it as flat as possible. Um, I'm going to try to give it a good clean 90. Yes, I know it is not as precise, but it's a quick and dirty way to get a 90 degree angle on both sides versus hand filing. And it will take a little practice to be able to get it good. So on to the test. That's the side we scraped just a moment ago. We're gonna go, let's go to this side with all the drill holes in it. So the wide side here is the side we did a moment ago with the hand file. We're gonna do the narrow the narrow side that we just did on the belt sander. So here I experimented pushing versus pulling and it worked really well. I took off more faster but I think it was partially because my angle was better. My attack angle on this. Uh, some people also bend their canvas scraper with their hand but you need a more flexible metal. It will take off more doing that than just having a stiff piece with a very good 90. But I ended up with a very smooth surface. Okay, so hopefully that answers how to make your own cabinet scraper and how to use a homemade cabinet scraper like this. It was left in the comments on how to make one of these and, well, here's the video for it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Make sure to give a thumbs up as that helps the channel and also lets me know you like the video. And I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments uh, it's encouraging to me, it helps the video, and it also lets me know what you guys are looking for, what you like, and all the above. Also make sure to hit the subscribe, because, well, that makes sure you get to see when these videos come out. Thank you for watching. See you later.